Hi everyone, Amy here with Amy's Wears, and today I have some pineapple sweetness with shimmer powders. So let's jump right in. Now this is a three by six stencil called pineapple, and then this is a six by six set, it's called layered pineapples. These are both part of the June 2023 release at A Colorful Life Designs. And I do have a coupon, AmyFan10. If you shop for anything, be sure to use my coupon at checkout and you'll save on your complete order. Now these beauties are my uh, Nouveau Shimmer powders. I don't end up using all three of those greens, but I did use a couple of them as well as those two um, yellowy gold options. And you'll see how I'm going to use them to create this really fun card. So here's a couple photos to show you the direction that we're going. You can see with it turned in the light that it has this beautiful shimmer to it. And that's the beauty of these Nouveau Shimmer powders. And I will link everything in the video description box below. If you expand under the video and scroll down, you'll find links to all of those products. And if you do use those, I may make a small commission um, as an affiliate, but that will be no additional cost to you, and it's a great way to um, help support me and my channel. So I really appreciate that. Now, what I'm doing here, I have some pieces of inexpensive cardstock. It's Canson XL, um, and they're cut down to a two size. And you can see I'm just going to kind of mask um, off the top or the bottom here, but then I realize eh, I don't even really need it because of the technique that I'm going to do. I'm going to actually cut that bigger one out. But I do go back and realize mm, I probably need pixie spray. Now you can do this process without pixie spray. However, I find that it really kind of helps um, if there's any kind of bowing in your cardstock or the bowing that you might get when you add water to it. So if you have the option of a temporary adhesive like Pixie Spray, I would use it for this technique. Now this is one of my absolute favorites. You may have seen me do this technique um, other times on my channel for other videos, but basically this is Nouveau pigment powder or shimmer powder and you lay it down in little clumps you don't want to squeeze the bottle just tap it kind of like I'm doing here otherwise you're going to have hot mess express if you try and squeeze one of those but basically you're just going to put little clumps of this powdered pigment down and then spray it with water and I love doing it with stencils because you would think that you might not get the detail with it being such a fluid you know liquid medium when you add the water but it's shocking how well this works out so um, I'm using a little brush to kind Kind of um, spread it around sometimes unless you add a lot of water you might have some clumps you want to make sure you spread out any clumps and make sure they have access to water because that's what's going to make it stick to the paper otherwise if you leave a little clump of the powder it's really going to just kind of brush off now this stuff in um, full disclosure i never use a fixative over this when i'm done but if you do rub your hands on it it won't smear, but you might get a little on your fingers. I haven't found this to be problematic enough to justify the time it takes to put a fixative, but if you're worried about it and it's some beautiful piece that you want them you know, to save for all times, then you may want to consider spraying it with some sort of fixative just to kind of lock in that pigment powder. But like I said, I've done this so many times. I've done so many videos. I've sent out so many cards with this, and it's not... A deal breaker it's not a big deal it's not going to like smudge or smear um, you just might get a little bit of transfer onto your finger or if, like you were to stack a bunch of papers on top of it or something like that so use your discretion full disclosure there but like i said it's not a problem for me so i did this first layer i was able to do the green as well because those pieces were so separated but at this point i had to kind of sit and let it dry um, you can use a heat tool if you want to kind of speed along the process but it also looks really cool when you just kind of let it do its thing kind of like watercolor so this is where i had to have some patience which it's not my strong suit if i'm honest but i had to let this panel dry so that i could come back in with the second layer and do the green so you want to make sure it's completely dry and then same thing got pixie spray i'm going to brayer this down and then i'm going to bring in the green um, for the top part of these pineapples so again same thing just laying down little clumps i have this lighter green and the darker green just kind of putting it in the area of the openings and then same thing, I'm gonna spritz it with water and use the little brush to kind of whoosh it around if I need to and that's going to finish this process. So once I get this done and get it all smeared, then I can remove this stencil again and reveal the amazing detail and then just let it sit while I finish the rest of the card. So this is such a fun technique. It shocks me every time. It never gets old. Um, you could do this with any of your pigment powders. 
I prefer the Nouveau Shimmer Powders. Those are the only ones that I have. Um, I really like the kind of mica shimmer component that's really pretty when you kind of have the card in your hand and tilt it towards the light. Um, but here I'm just going to fussy cut out this big pineapple. This is going to be my focal point on the front of the card. Um, these would be great stencils on their own or obviously used together. I've seen some really cool things that people on my design team have done. Um, with these two particular stencils and it's just so fun and so I don't know summery and and sweet and good so just going to kind of fussy cut around these the top crown part of the pineapple it's a little fiddly because you got these points but just remember to turn the paper when you can rather than your scissors when you're fussy cutting and it will help you to get a clearer cut and also um, kind of help with the fatigue of of cutting but you know when you have little spiky pokey bits like this it's not particularly fun, but it's a big enough image. It's not super fiddly, so it's all good. Anyway, get that done and kind of get these little pieces parts out of the way. Now here, I'm shopping my sentiment strip book. I have one of these for my die cut sentiments. I have one for my critters that are stamped and colored and cut out. And then this is all sentiment strips. And I'm looking for one that says sweet because I know I have one somewhere. Um, and I'm just thinking pineapple, sweet, it ties in. So these are all strips from a small business called LDRS Creative, they're in Michigan. Um, they have these awesome strips. So basically you buy a stamp that has, I think maybe like 10 sentiments on it. And then you buy a coordinate, coordinating die that works with all of the stamps that she has in the shop like that. And it cuts them all out in one pass. So I like to store them in that um, storage solution with those baseball card pockets. And then she also sells that shadow layer, which is what you'll see the the black is cut out from. So it's just another optional item that you can purchase and it kind of gives you that cool um, fishtail shaped backer that's just slightly bigger than your sentiment strips. Now here I felt like that pineapple wasn't going to pop off enough so th my solution to that was just to take my black blending brush and just kind of rough up go around the edges with my blending brush just to kind of give it a little bit of shadow and help it kind of pop off that background since it is all the same color. Now I have this Sweet Wishes. I'm just gonna take a little chunk of the same foam tape, just kind of lay it off the side of where I'm gonna stick this down so that the sentiment is the same height off of the card front as the pineapple. So this will kind of help it in the mail to not get squished down. Just gonna remove this and kind of shove it in there and then use a little bit of liquid glue underneath where it's gonna go on top of the pineapple and then it will have the support of the foam tape underneath it. And then I'm going to take the second sentiment, liquid glue that with my Barely Art glue, and put that on the inside of the card that says happy birthday. So sweet wishes, happy birthday, all sorts of pineapple shimmery goodness, and that's going to finish my card. I did add a few little uh, resin droplets just because they're awesome and they're my favorite. So that's going to finish the card. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I appreciate it. If you enjoyed this, please hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.